Okay, um, just going to quickly go through the Sprint Evo to familiarise you on how easy it is to navigate around um, and show you how to activate some of the functions. Uh, first of all, if I explain what all the bits and pieces do, these two, are, these two here are the temperature ports for, for differential temperature when you're doing your flow and return readings. Uh, set up bypasses, balancing radiators, etc. Um, you've also got the two pressure points on there. On the back, um, you've got, it shows what it is. So in line there is the, that's a negative pressure, that's a positive pressure, and then your middle port there is for your uh, sample for flue gas analysis or doing uh, CO room, room tests. On the side here, you've got a USB, which is used for connecting to a PC or using with a gas leak detection mode. Um, there's your charger point here. And on the back of it, you've got your, your, your serial number. Uh, clearly shows you when it was calibrated. And obviously you've got a magnetic uh, patch there. And then on the left-hand side of the instrument is your infrared uh, window if you're sending your signal to a, a, an infrared printer. Now to turn the instrument on, you press and hold the on button for a couple of seconds until you see the blue light and then take your finger off. And that's, uh, you, you have to hold it down for a few seconds to stop it turning on in the back of the van as you're going along. Um, then you've got Anton, the telephone numbers and our website. Um, you can also personalise the analyzer with, sorry let me go back. You can personalise the analyzer with your company name and your telephone number which you can uh, set into the analyzer yourself either through the instrument or using the software and it's got the serial number on the screen as well and then after a few seconds um, that will then go back into the main menu on the main menu at the top you've obviously got the time and date and then you've got the calibration due so it also tells you on the instrument as well as on a, on a calibration label it will, it will tell you when the, when the calibration is due so um, on the main menu, the first one is, is a test menu, so to select that, basically you, you use the, the, the soft buttons on the, on the side to go up and down to pick what you want. So if we're going to pick test menu, you then press the middle button to go into that. So our test menu, we've got flue gas analysis, we've got pressure menu, differential temperature, CO room safety and gas escape detection. So if we start with flue gas analysis, Normally at this stage you'd, get the, you'd be standing outside, so you're, you're purging in, free air, in clean air. You'd put your analyzer um, probe, push that in nice and tight on the, on the middle spigot, and then your temperature adapter, you've got a, a positive and a negative, make sure that's around the right way, simply goes on like that. Um, and then you choose flue gas analysis, making sure your probe's uh, in, in clean air. And then it asks you to confirm that you're in clean air, so we're going to press that now, and now what that's doing is it's going through a stabilising process. Uh, that will change in a few seconds from stabilising to zeroing, and it will find the, the zero point so that you're ready to uh, continue with your fluid gas analysis testing. And that's just your purge symbol on there, which is showing you that it's purging. So that now goes to zeroing, like so, and then it lets you into your fluid gas analysis pages. Now, what you've got there is you've got flue gas one. If there's a number on the top of your screen, that, that means that there's, there's more than one page to do with that particular test that you're in. So, if you've got flue gas one, if I press this button, this is on and off if you hold it down, but it's also um, turns the pages. So, now I've got flue gas two, you'll now see on the screen if I steady that for you. Um, and if I press it again. Okay, uh, we're now in flue gas page three which gives you all your readings on here. Obviously we've got some hashes on there at the moment um, because we're not doing a live test. You've got your oxygen, CO, CO2 ratio, excess air, temperature and efficiency. Um, and then you've got these three buttons on here. This one is for, for print, this one's actually set for printer. Um, obviously if you've got a Bluetooth version, that'll be a Bluetooth sign there. The disk is, is a save key, so if I was to save this reading, we simply press save and it says it's what log it is, it's a flu log, and the date and time, you say yes and then freezes that on the screen. So you've got log two up there, and because of the band on the top means it's frozen, so that now I can pull across a printer and I can print out, say you want to do two printouts, I can do that and it, while, while the readings are, are, are frozen on the screen. If I press escape, it then puts me straight back to live readings, um, and then I'm, I'm ready to do, a, to do a new test. This button, this key here, is changing the efficiency. You've got efficiency net, you've got efficiency gross, and you've got efficiency net HE 
for your high efficiency or condensing boilers. Okay, so that's your that's your fluid gas. That's how you set up your fluid gas analysis. Um, simply put that in the flue. Normally, within a, a, about a minute, you've got all your readings there. And once they all stable out, stabilize out, you save them, and then and then uh, you can print them. Okay. Now, if I want to go back, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to press Escape. A bit like a computer. Press Escape gets me back one. Now it's saying to me, replace inspection cap in the flue terminal. Um, that's just a safety function to make sure that you. Um, that you've done exactly that, you replace the inspection cap into your flue. Um, so we press escape because we, let's say we've done that, it gets us back to the test menu.